I want to help. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You are watching Spud Boys TV. My name is Mike. And today's vlog, ladies and gentlemen, was a very spontaneous one because I was laying in bed and I had a message from Shona and she was like, Mike, down the transport bridge, there's going to be fire services doing fire drills and there's going to be ambulances and boats and boat rescue and stuff. And I was just like, and she was like, it'll be a good vlog. And I was like, do you know what, Shona? I think I agree with you. So literally 10 minutes ago, I was in bed, but now I'm up, I'm out. Um, I'm going to be meeting the guys down there. So hopefully we're going to be able to go inside a fire truck because that is what I want to do. I want to get inside a fire truck and I want to annoy the firemen and ask them loads of questions about, about the fire truck and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's what this vlog is going to be about, guys. Obviously, it's going to be entertaining because Moa is going to be ent is your entertainer today. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we're going to get an interesting, fun vlog for you guys. And you know what I say on this channel, guys. If an opportunity presents itself, you have to take it. Mmm! <laughs> I've got to be careful because I'm on my hay fever tablet today. Now, what's interesting about this vlog is and the transporter bridge has two sides um, and I don't know which side to go on so Shona's going to go on the one side um, and I'm going to go on this side because obviously I'm walking I'm walking this way so um, so hopefully I'm on the right side but I've got a funny feeling I think everything will be over the more more accessible, accessible side because this side is more well look there's nothing going on here there's no one walking about just loads of cars and stuff. Well, whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. Ah! It stabbed me! <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Is this sewage? Oh man, I think I'm walking through sewage. What's going on there? I kind of want to go and have a look. It's like a river, Newport River, mate. Oh, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think it's sewage because it doesn't smell. Take note. Where does that lead? That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be for a future vlog because I've actually walked down there and I got halfway down and I was like, do you know what? This will be a good vlog. I didn't have my camera with me. So, Expect that in the future. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I think I'm in the wrong place. Because all that seems to be coming down here are work trucks and not fire trucks. So, um, I'll still get to the end and we'll still have a look. But um, yeah, I think, I think I'm in the, the wrong direction. But there is a guy down here and he's wearing a high-vis jacket. So maybe I'm in the right place. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. You'll never know if you don't go. <laughs> hey, look at this. I wonder what it looks like underneath. Mike, this is no fire service and boat service. I know, guys. I'm just on my way, okay? <laughs> There's a problem with me and vlogging. I get distracted easily. And I find cool things to look at. And that looked quite cool for a second, I think. You guys were all blown away by that amazing shot. I think that's a, a, a tree that goes next to lakes and stuff. Now I did see someone knocking about in a high-vis jacket. But they, oh actually, there are fire engines down here. Maybe this is the right place. Maybe. So as we can see here, we've got a fire engine and we've got some sort of little truck. And these people here, they're all wearing helmets. Oh no, they're not wearing hats. Some of them wear helmets. So I'm not sure if these guys are going to be going up there and doing some sort of exercise. Um, I'll just go and have a... T I'll, go, I'll try and chat with them. But then obviously, if, it's, um, if they're having like a report or debrief or whatever, I don't want to really get in the way of that, <laughs> do I? If, if you've got any interest, then just... Uh, you know. He's a nice guy, he's a blue guy. 
It's what, sorry? These are blue watch. These are four different watches. Right. So this one's blue, so if you like a four on four racer. Right, okay. Two days, two nights. So you know loads about like the fire service and everything? So I've got the rotor. So How'd you get the rotor? It's like an app. <laughs> it's just a random app on my own. So, so oh, yeah. it's blue watch. Tonight it will be white, but with the night shift. And we've got reds. And this is the. This, the, this, is, this is, is for this is for this brigade. So this tells us who's who's working when. These guys are walking up there. Like I don't know if you can see that. And there's a guy dangling, just randomly. I think he's stuck. <laughs> I'll have a better view now. Oh, look at these guys. These guys are media. They got their own YouTube channel called Nino. What's it called again? Sorry. Nino Emergencies. Nino Emergencies. And you guys go around the country, and they and they yeah. um they basically follow the fire is it just fire you follow around all sorts of emergency services so exercises incidents that sort of thing it's pretty interesting silence <laughs> <laughs> i didn't go try and talk to these guys they look really busy though i don't want to i don't want to like <laughs> Hi hey guys, you okay? okay? Good mate, good. You can just give us two seconds. Yeah, then. no problem at all. So these guys are currently in a scenario, that's why they can't really talk and stuff. Obviously it's about health and safety. They've all just gone. They've all left me. Let's go and have a look at this fire truck. Just have a look in, in here. <laughs> Obviously, don't want to go too far just because the guy thinks I'm trying to steal something. Look at the size of this though. It's massive. I don't think I've ever been this close to a fire engine before. Malpus, I was down here the other day. Walk past that. See him. That's a that's a dummy, isn't it? Hey? Is that a person or a dummy? No, that's a person. He's just not moving. <laughs> well, he doesn't like moving, mate. Right? <laughs> 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 it takes effort. So your job to well, your mission today is to rescue that guy, is it? I think the scenario is he's a bungee bungee jumper. Right. He's got stuck. Right. Uh, is it is it everyone's first time or are they? No, no, this, no, no. no. Oh. Obviously, some are more experienced than others, but it's just best as a team working out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This fire engine's amazing, isn't it? What's this thing? It's a crane. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen that on a fire no, engine no, before. Crane, yeah. <laughs> so, well, you can use it for RTCs. You start to use it for bariatrics. What's bariatrics? So that's sort of, you know, like a heavy person over a certain oh, okay. um, weight, or perhaps. People like me. Stuck, <laughs> not stuck in an awkward position. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perhaps they need to get out quickly. Um, too big to get out of a room. That's amazing. Have you, were, have you been a fire officer long? Have you worked for the fire brigade long? 20 years. 20 years, wow. That's amazing. Bet you got some stories. Yeah. <laughs> They've left the door open there. Eh? Shall I uh shall I wander on up? <laughs> nah, I got no chance. I don't let me see if I can zoom in. I know you can somehow. Um just in case you guys can't see what's going on. Cause I do have my wide angle lens on. How do I zoom? Oh I liked it. How do I do Sorry guys. Now on this camera see there is a feature where I can zoom. So if I can if I can somehow do that, and then you guys will be able to see a bit better. Have a look. There you go. There he is. That's the guy. <laughs> so he's literally um, just angling there. So his job today is to pretend to be the rescue. To well, to be rescued. I think there's there's four or five of them up there. Um, can't really see them because obviously the the, the backlight and everything. But they went up there with all the equipment. 
Um, I'm sure I've seen the two guys, you know, with, with the oxygen tanks and stuff. I'm sure they are there on their back as well. Is it just the one scenario you guys are going to be doing today, or is there a bunch? I don't, I'm not sure. It depends how long this takes. Ah, okay. Um, I think we use about two, I think. Um, but it depends. How long would this normally take, something like this? It takes quite a long time. It's yeah. Equipment, it's health safety and safety, involved. yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, it's obviously it's labour intensive and it's equipment intensive, so it depends yeah. where you've got to take the equipment, how many people you need there. Um, so I don't know, we'll sort of find out. No, I literally, I've just stuck a stopwatch on now, so I'd say from the time to the guys went up i say that's already five minutes so so if in a scenario like this would you know exactly what to do before you get to the top or would you no, be like right no, no, we no. get to the top and it's never like that you get an idea right so you have an idea you take as much equipment as you think you need right okay you don't really know till you get there yeah depends if the casualty is conscious yeah yeah so you can ask them then you get more of an idea if they're unconscious you're probably going to need to so you can go in with a plan, and that plan but it doesn't change. always work out yeah, of course. like you plan. So a lot of it is adapting when you're there, you know. But again, that comes with experience, and the only way to get experience is to practice. Yeah. Get the shouts. That's where you get your most experience, obviously. I think that could be quite uh, quite nerve-wracking, that. Huh? <laughs> uh, like abseiling. Yep. But you trust the equipment, if you trust oh, okay, your equipment, yeah. you can trust you guys. The equipment's so safe, there's so much safety built into it, you know, that you trust it. And then you trust the team around you and um, just do it then. Was the guy just picked out of a hat or, was he, or did he volunteer to? I, got, I think he volunteered. <laughs> I don't know why, I think he volunteered. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll just dangle. You guys save me. <laughs> But he's an experienced guy, you know. As right. In okay. Rope. So he's been it, doing it for a long time. No, not so much that. He just he did rope before he joined the job, or he did bits. But um, he's an instructor, so it'd be nice for him to see from his point of view. Oh, okay. I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. Because you pick things up depending on where you stood, you know. media taking photos So what kind of um, zoom you got on your camera then? So That's a massive camera. So that one there is a 300 millimeter and the camcorder next to it can zoom in. Is that what you do your vlogs on? Uh, no, uh, yeah, we, we, we yeah. film on that one, yeah. But that's our main one. Oh, you've got a drone as well, have you? Yeah. yeah, they said we can use it later on. So we're going to get some shots of what they're doing. Is that the same? Oh, you both got the same yeah, camera? Yeah, both set up for camcorder and the actual camera. That's a lot of equipment, isn't it? Oh, you put it back in. The smaller lens, eight, uh, 15 to 85 millimeter. Oh, they're doing something now. I just go. I go straight down. <laughs> I think he's gonna with the pole there. He's gonna try and reach that rope somehow. Ah, uh, right. So, I think that is he gonna attach it to the fire engine? Probably. Quite possibly, yeah. Because he's got the little. I don't even know what the rope attachments are called. So. Oh, that's interesting. So they could like connect in, like kind of zip line down in a way. Yeah. In a safe pull, way. Pull stuff up as well. Which I think, oh yeah. I think they've got all. They've got all their there. bags over there. Oh, so that's what they're doing, so they're going to be grabbing it and taking it out. I, I think so. Have you been to many things like this? Uh, like when they're doing the, uh, the abseiling? No, they're trying to turn around facing the wrong way. Are you both from Newport? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. I feel like I'm doing people's heads in. I just keep on asking questions and the last thing I want to do is annoy someone, especially when someone, you know, he's obviously doing, he's doing his, his job here. So, um, I really don't want to annoy the guy. Because I, I, you know me, I can ask the guy a million questions, but not when he's, when he's like, busy, you know. How dare you talk to me like a dog? 
<laughs> so I think what's happened here is they've lowered this this wire, which obviously the the, the man's going to grab hold of, and he's going to attach it to the the truck. Because he was just saying then to the, the the guys over there, he was like, you know, it's all about problem solving. So, what it sounds like is going to happen, someone's going to upsell down and then they're going to throw the rope over. So yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have thought of just trying to swing the wire. And obviously in like life and death situations, you can't have time to like think that long, you know, because you could be swinging the wire. When, when you think about it, there's not much momentum up there. Someone's coming down. So what's the plan, guys? What are they doing? What's plan C? Yeah, you're going to go down, yeah, all the way down the mud. Right. Just to get the rope. Yeah, because you can, you ah, can right. get the end of that with the stick. Ah, okay. They, they haven't. They can't really swing it. They can't reach it over this side. Yeah, I think there's not enough momentum, is it, to no, swing it from the top? I'm going to suggest to them in a minute put the bag on the side, and they can swing it side to side instead of swinging it. Did they? Did I hear him say that they were thinking about like abseiling down and grabbing the wire and throwing it out? Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Quite a good idea, that. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. So I was just speaking to the to the lads then, uh, the ones who to follow, basically they follow the the fire and fire amp, the fire service around, you know, and they take pictures and stuff of whatever's going on. And I was like, oh, have you ever seen the film Nightcrawl? And he's like, you know, that's my dream job. Basically, I want to go to America and and film like things like that and get paid the big bucks, because obviously the first kind of pictures of accidents and stuff is the big bucks. Now they've actually got a big hook, so the guy's gone. Well, you you heard what's going on. Let's have a look. I hope this vlog's interesting for you guys, because it is fairly interesting, something you don't see every day. So one guy's just jumped over there and he's gone down. And now um, they got a big hook. So they're going to hook this, this wire. I don't know if you can see it actually on the camera, but they're, they're going to hook this big kind of wire. Um, and then obviously, I, I'm assuming they're going to attach it to, to this thing. It's a shame all these are open, so I can have a proper little look. I want to go in a van as well, but I don't... <laughs> The big little lemmy. The uh, the one guy has now got a mate with him. Look, so he's upside down a little bit. Well, he um, I don't know. Maybe he's doing like some sort of health checks, make sure the guy's okay. Um, as the as the gentleman was saying, um, obviously you got to make sure like the casualties are awake or unconscious if they're unconscious and. To be honest, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go, now that's worked. Um, the guy's giving him the wire look. Now, yeah, he's going to attach it to the uh, to the truck look. You know, this is so interesting. I'm going to try and talk to those guys as well, because I think hang around with them and going on like a, well, see what they do, that, that could be really interesting as well. I think it'll make an interesting vlog. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see the guys? They're like, there you go, Mr. Fire, you wondering about the zoom on the camera? It does zoom in a little bit. Am I even looking at the right thing? Yeah, I am. Well, it's a lot in there to go to a, into a rescue. Yeah, like, because there's spikes on the fence, the guys got one of those casualty things that you carry, like, uh, unconscious people in and people who are injured to cover the spikes, look. So obviously as they come down, they don't catch themselves on the, on the spikes. It's interesting, isn't it? Using your noggin. Oh, and these guys are coming down now. Hmm. Now they should pull him over now, look. With the rope. I want to help. Yeah. 
Mission accomplished. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm going to go now because there's not really much happening. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. I think to come down to see how they how they work and how they actually um, problem solve. You know, um, I, was, I was chatting to the guy, but my camera battery died, so I'm charging it up. Um, so I was charging up and he came over and he started talking to me about and he was just telling me literally about the situation and what happened and I was asking him about like um how like how how strong is the rope? And he said they're tested to a ton. Um uh, what else did I ask him? Well me <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it was you know, you, you guys seen what it was all about. It was really interesting. Um but I'm just standing there now. So that was really interesting. I just want to say thank you very much for watching the vlog, guys. Watching it to the end. Um, it was pretty interesting. Um, just to see how, how they, they do things. Um, but there's not much going on now. So I'm just standing there. And obviously they're doing stuff. So I can't really talk to them anymore. So thank you very much for watching the vlog. It's a little bit different. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Ooh.